Hey guys, how's it going? We're gonna do something that's totally different today than anything that we've ever done before. We're actually here in my home chemistry lab, or at least what's left of it after the cops raided my meth lab last summer. <laughs> but we're gonna be working with uh, this substance right here today, which is lime water. What? Oh, why did they call it lime water? That's actually a good question. Okay, so lime, it's just sort of a generic term in chemistry for anything that contains calcium. So usually we're talking about like carbonates, oxides, um, hydroxides. Lime water is actually a saturated solution of calcium hydroxide. So I just took some calcium hydroxide, I uh, dissolved it in deionized water, and it's only sparingly soluble so the, the hydroxide itself actually sort of settles off on the bottom and then you just siphon or pipette off the, uh, the remaining solution and you get your lime water. Lime water is also referred to as um, hydrated lime or slaked lime. And um, this process, what's slaking, um, lime water is actually made, or I should say calcium hydroxide, is actually made from uh, calcium oxide, which is referred to as quicklime. Um, I don't have any calcium oxide in the lab because it's actually very reactive. Um, you just combine it with water, the reaction is extremely strong, it's extremely exothermic, it'll actually spontaneously boil without the addition of any extra heat. But that process of adding water or hydrating quick lime is referred to as slacking the lime. <laughs> and the result is, as I said, slacked lime or hydrated lime or lime water, calcium hydroxide solution. So what I want to do for you guys today is use this lime water to show you a simple test that you can do for the presence of carbon dioxide gas. And I was going to create this kind of like elaborate carbon dioxide generator thing. And then I realized that a much simpler way to do it is just to use a uh, readily available supply of carbon dioxide. And that is your breath, right? Because when people respire, you exhale carbon dioxide. So that's a steady supply of carbon dioxide gas that you can use for any reaction. So let's see what happens when I exhale carbon dioxide into my solution of lime water. All right, so here we go. So you can see, I mean, it was a little bit cloudy to begin with, but it is much, much cloudier now. And that's because the carbon dioxide from my breath has reacted with the calcium hydroxide that was in the solution to form a precipitate, this kind of milky, cloudy white precipitate of calcium carbonate, which is the same material that chalk is made of. So now a solution that was initially almost clear has turned almost completely opaque because of this white precipitate of calcium carbonate. So one of the things that they would do, which was kind of clever back in the days when they would have these mountebank or charlatan kind of quack doctors is they would have glasses of lime water and they would ask for for a member of the audience to come forward for this demonstration or to, to assess their health and the lime water just looked like a, a clear glass of water so the, the participant had no idea what it was they thought it was just you know a glass of ordinary water and they would have them blow through a straw into the glass and it would turn this cloudy white color and that was supposed to be indicative of some sort of sickness or impurity that was in their breath. And so then these doctors, of course, would have this like magic medicine that you could buy to help improve your health or remove this ailment or whatever it was that was, you know, contaminating your, your breath. So what they would do is they would just take some kind of simple mineral acid. Let me find an acid over here. Um, okay, so I'm going to use acetic acid, um, which is just the principal acid in vinegar. You could use any acid though. So now watch what happens when I add my I guess this isn't a mineral acid, this is an organic acid, isn't it? Whatever. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, so watch what happens to my, remember this has gotten cloudy because it's got that precipitate of calcium carbonate in it, but watch what happens when I add this acid. Woo! Look at that, it's gone back to being clear. That's just a simple acid-base reaction, right? So what happens is I've got the calcium carbonate, that solid, white precipitate that was in here before, that reacts with the acetic acid to produce uh, calcium acetate, which is just a colorless 
uh, electrolyte so it just goes directly into solution and then it also generates carbonic acid which immediately degenerates into carbon dioxide and water and then the carbon dioxide just evaporates out of the solution and since that cloudy white precipitate of the calcium carbonate is gone it's no longer cloudy anymore. I'm back to my clear solution. So two different really pretty simple reactions one of which introduces carbon dioxide into a solution to produce a precipitate of calcium carbonate and then an acid base reaction where I add acetic acid which then reacts with that base the calcium carbonate and uh, remove the carbon dioxide from the solution and remove that precipitate restoring the clarity of the original solution. Gotta love chemistry.